What's up guys, JB2017 here today bringing you another Titanfall gameplay and today we are going to be talking about my favorite weapons. So I'm going to kind of cover, you know, my experience with both pilot weapons and Titan weapons because, you know, that's probably, you know, it'll probably take about eight minutes to talk about that stuff, which is the length of this gameplay. So I guess first off, uh, this is the battle of attrition, of course, on Boneyard. And so at this point, I had already finished both of the campaigns. If you don't know what that is, basically there are uh, not traditional campaigns, but basically you play a total of nine multiplayer matches um, for both the IMC and the Militia, and that unlocks all the different uh, kind of chassis for the Titans. So it's just basically you should something you should do uh, anyways, because you'll be in lobbies with people that aren't very experienced, um, such as yourself, and uh, so that's just something smart to do. But anyways, my favorite weapon. So first off, for the for the pilot, just right off the bat, my favorite weapon is just the uh, the carbine. It's just my favorite weapon. It's just the best kind of weapon for any kind of situation. Actually, I shouldn't say that because it's not true. Um, for probably up close situations, uh, mid range, obviously, it's an assault rifle. It is just really, really powerful, really awesome, and really reliable at mid range. And of course, it's supposed to be. So uh, that's. That's really why I like the carbine so much. It's called the, yeah, the R, you can see it on the bottom right, R-101C carbine. And you get it from the very start. You unlock a bunch of different sites and such by killing grunts and specters and other kinds of, um, you know, like extended mags. So right now I have the HCOG site and extended mags attachment. Uh, for some reason... I really do not like the suppressor. The suppressor is not very good in this game whatsoever. It's just not a good attachment. It reduces the range and reduces the damage. It's just not smart in a game where right now I'm trying to engage an enemy at this far away. I mean, a suppressor would just ruin that chance. And, you know, when I don't have a suppressor on, I can, you know, legitimately try to kill people from very, very long range. So that's what I like about it. I love the versatility that the carbine has to offer. And, you know, weapons like the smart pistol. The smart pistol was very popular in the beta, and I believe it was popular because it's an auto aim, you know, pistol at a certain range, at a very close range. It's a little bit longer than shotgun range, uh, but it, I would call it short medium. It's definitely not medium range auto lock on, uh, but just, uh, you know, so far, my first two days of experience, I haven't seen anybody just wreck with these smart pistols. So, um, the shotgun, I've seen people use the shotgun, and they're effective. And, you know, that's just a certain kind of playstyle that you need to adopt in order to uh, be effective with the shotgun. And the, I, I don't see any use for the SMG. Um, now, bear in mind, I haven't used the SMG. Also, this is going to get a little laggy here. Yeah, it actually reconnects to the server. Um, I've had some games where I'm just laggy and I have to leave because it's just so laggy. Um, but I'm sure that's just some growing pains with Titanfall and it'll be resolved very soon. Uh, yeah, definitely want to get away from that nuclear ejection right there. So, anyways, yeah, I don't see any use for the SMG at all. It seems like a useless weapon. It doesn't, um, why would you use an SMG when you could use, if you're using an SMG, for medium range combat, you should be using an assault rifle because I just think it's better because you could then extend it for long range combat. And if you're using an SMG for close range combat, you should probably just be using a shotgun or a smart pistol. Uh, so I understand why an SMG wouldn't be in the game, but I don't understand why a lot of people would use it. So that's just kind of my view on that. And yeah, so as far as anti-Titan weapons, uh, first off I want to note I don't usually use anti-Titan weapons to take down Titans. Uh, I think the best way to take down Titans still is to rodeo them. And that's what I do. You're going to see right here. I'm just going to land on this guy that just previously took me out. And fortunately, my buddy, or not my buddy, but uh, my teammate was able to take him out. Anyways, so, and I was able to kill him right here, I think. Yeah, definitely. Or no, I wasn't. Anyways, so yeah. Anti-Titan weapons, I usually roll with the the one that locks on because the Sidewinder feels a little bit weak. Those are the two starting Titan anti-Titan weapons, so 
Uh, I usually, yeah, I, I roll with the lock on one, but again, I don't really use it very much. And that's just how I roll. And now let's go on to the Titan weapons. So for Titan weapons, as you can tell, I'm using it right now. The 40 millimeter cannon is my absolute favorite Titan weapon. It just feels very strong, it's very accurate, and when I hit something, I know I've hit it. Because I can see the damage go down on their Titan in the HUD, and um, it just feels very strong and, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, it just feels reliable, because it is reliable. And that's why I like the 40 millimeter cannon. Also, if you use it enough, and I think you have to kill specters or something, some kind of weird challenge, you unlock the three round burst attachment for the 40 millimeter cannon in a Titan. That is very powerful. The three round burst is so good, and it's very much worth your time um, to you know use the 40 millimeter cannon. I mean, the single shot is already really powerful, but when you have a three round burst and you just hit every single round on an enemy Titan, you're really going to be able to take them out quickly. And so, I really like the 40mm uh, cannon on the Titan. And I haven't tried a lot of weapons. You know, in this game, I've found a few weapons that I really like and kind of, you know, I can be successful with, and so I've stuck with them. And so, I'm going to be experimenting a little more. But, I have experimented a little bit. I think I've done, I've used, I think it's called the Phase Cannon or something like that. And it's the most powerful Titan weapon. Uh, per, per shot, but it's kind of hard to land um, on on grunts and enemy pilots that are running around because pilots are very small and it's a very precise weapon. Uh, so, you know, in terms of probably taking out enemy titans, it's a really good uh, weapon. So, if there are a bunch of titans on the field and you spawn, if you change your titan loadout to a loadout where you have the phase cannon on I think is what it's called forgive me if I'm wrong then that's that's super that's super powerful against Titans but in terms of helping out your team overall especially in a game mode like attrition which is probably gonna be the most played game mode if I had to guess you don't want to use the face cannon because it sucks at killing grunts and specters with the 40 millimeter especially with the three round burst you can take out groups of grunts and specters really easily and help out your team in the end and score yourself some more points. So, you'll be higher towards the top of the leaderboard, is what I'm trying to say, which is what I aim for in this game. I try to be at the top of the leaderboard for my team, which is, you'll see, that's why I chose this gameplay, because I was. Uh, so, yeah, phase cannon, really powerful, but not the greatest uh, overall, you know, useful gun. The 40 millimeter, again, I think is really useful, and the chain gun, it's like the X106 chain gun, something like that. That gun is uh, is pretty good as well for the Titan. And I've already got a second loadout. I just made it right before this video uh, for you know to try to test around and get away from my baby, my favorite uh, 40 40 millimeter cannon, and you know experiment and try new kinds of guns. But uh, yeah. Anyways, guys. I just want to talk about my favorite guns so far. If you guys have played Titanfall, uh, feel free in the comment section below to share your favorite guns. Anyways, 79 attrition points, and I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay. Stick around for more very soon. Peace.